The Kawasaki robot created a lot of buzz as people couldn't stop talking about it. But the more you look at it, the more it starts to feel like a page ripped right out of Tesla's playbook. Announcing an insane product that creates a lot of hype until investors start throwing money at it. It's a strategy that works for Elon Musk every time, and now it seems Kawasaki is testing out the same formula, except they're not even pretending it'll be ready in the next five years. From the comments of the video we posted, some people see this concept as a really cool one, but it's just a concept. There's no real data on speed, range, pricing, or even how practical this thing is outside of a demo hall. But I think Kawasaki didn't need numbers. They needed attention. And they got it because headlines everywhere about this robot. Like the moment Corleo was revealed at the Osaka Kansai Expo preview, it was no longer about what the robot can do today, and more about what it might do in 25 years. Which if you think about it, until 2050. That's a long runway of possibilities. Long enough to raise funds, reshape brand perception, and position Kawasaki as a leader in futuristic mobility. Whether or not this robot ever makes it to mass production. You all know Tesla has been doing this for years, to the point that some people even say that Tesla sells dreams of the future. Think of FSD, Cybercab, now Robovan. It's always just two years away. Then it gets delayed again and again, but somehow the excitement keeps building. That strategy relies on belief, belief that the company can deliver. And even when deadlines are missed, the stock climbs higher. Now Kawasaki is trying something similar by promising to deliver in 2050. It's far enough away that nobody will hold them accountable anytime soon. But the mere idea of building hydrogen-powered rideable animal robots is enough to generate a wave of futuristic optimism. And they may keep releasing updates of the progress each year to get more money from investors. But also, this could be a way that Kawasaki is trying to show the investors how they are positioning themselves for the future. Remember, this is the same company that builds motorcycles, high-speed trains, and even aircraft engines. But the future is going to be more about robotics, clean energy, and AI. So by dropping something like Corleo into the mix, it could help them to carve this clear path on what they can do in the future. God, my English and typing skills are good today. Anyways, for Kawasaki, this could bring in the next generation of tech-focused investors who want to be part of the next Tesla-like evolution.